Are you guys ready for some of our favorite things? I am excited. You excited? I'm excited. Although I wished I had more favorite things. Oh, we've got a lot. Oh, look, I, I have so. a whole basket full. Actually, it's been a couple months since we did this. And we said we need to do another favorite things video because we enjoyed it. Yep. And it seemed like you guys did too. We're going to be talking today about something that saved our dog's life, believe it or not, and whitens our teeth. <laughs> <laughs> I know. this Snake oil. <laughs> We're going to be talking Julie about... Julie and Jason um, snake oil. We're going to be talking about feminine accessories. We're going to be talking about some wasp... Uh, wasp... What am I trying to Sting say? Sting relief. Yes, yes. Why don't about, we just jump into it? Okay. This is and, oh, and um, one of the things that I'm going to tell you about, there's a giveaway. We're going to be giving away two of this favorite thing. Yeah. Okay, let's get started. I'm Julie, and this is Jason. Hello. Um, if you're new to our channel, you can check out all the fun that we have. So let's just get started and not chat. Okay, should we start with you or me? You. Me. Yeah. How about these? What if we bounce back and forth? Yeah, that's fine. Look at these. This is one of my favorite things. Can you They're see that? They're pretty. I got these for my birthday. These pretty earrings. They're very lightweight, so you don't even feel like you're wearing anything. And I actually, when I looked at them on Amazon to tell everybody about them, um, they have a coupon. Oh, yeah. Amazon has a coupon on these, too. Ask me so. how I know. <laughs> yeah, so I we like... bought it for her for her I like her birthday jewelry birthday. that's fun and pretty and not super expensive. It's got a really because... cool little stamp on one of the hooks. I'm a detailed yeah. person. Yeah, you are. Like, just those unnecessary details. details really, it really gets me. I like it. Okay. I will link them down. All of this I will link below so that you can check it out on your own. What do you want to just grab in the basket? It's like... <laughs> Grab basket. Uh-huh. Okay. So this is... Dusty. Um, this is a wireless charger. Okay. Yeah. So it plugs into USB. Mm -hmm. And it, it charges Android and uh, iPhone 7 and up phones. Yeah. And and you know what? We have seen these in the stores and things and, and yeah. thought, no like, way. All right. Whatever. So what I did is I actually spent a little bit of time because I knew I was going to get my wife a new phone. Um, or that she was going to get a new phone, and um, I wanted her to. We were having some serious charging oh, issues. It was horrible. It was. It was like it was this literally is, a this circus. This is what I had to do to charge my other phone. You had to lick the the plug, the cable, <laughs> and hold it in, that. hold it just right. Oh, until <laughs> it finally around, like connects. And then connect. say a few prayers, and then it would happen. It was awful. I mean, literally. I'm like, when I say say prayers, I mean literally. That's what you had to do yeah. because sometimes it just would not work. And I'm like, God. I think you want me to have my phone charged right now because we're receiving a call, whatever. So it was, it was something. Yeah. So anyway, so I was like, okay, when we can avoid that, we're not going to do that again. So um, I don't have the wireless charging. Yeah, but I do. Right. So this one's really about me. Right. And I cannot tell you how life changing it is that I set my phone down yeah. like this and it charges. Yeah. It's just incredible. And. The thing was only ten ninety nine when we bought it. Right, it's gone up a little bit. It in has. Price. I think it's thirteen ninety nine maybe right. on Amazon. But it's still worth it. it it'd be so it'd be worth it worth still it. at like twenty dollars in my opinion. It is. So anyway, so I did a lot of research, found out what was out there. There's some the company still has it has dual chargers. I think it's like forty dollars for the dual charger. I still think it's worth it if you had two phones, you know, whatever. Um, this one's a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. They had some other out there, but I mean, uh, as far as like reviews go and quality and price. It just, it hit all of the uh, things yeah. that we needed it to. It's been great. Yeah. Okay, so, uh, while we're on the topic of technology, sure. we've talked about these before. These are the kid headphones that our kids use when they're doing their math online, things they're like that. They're not just kid headphones. Okay, we use them too. <laughs> I use them in my office because they it's like are. kids are out there and they're doing stuff. Look it's at that. noise it canceling. Adult. Yeah, right. it fits, yeah, I mean, it actually fits even a head bigger than mine, believe it or not. So the reason we like them is because they help muffle any noise, yeah, noise because canceling. with a lot of kids right. you know it's hard to focus on math mm -hmm. and they are sturdy we have not had the kids break these yet yeah because we've been going through we actually bought four pairs this is how hooked <laughs> we were on them and we're they're 7.99 seven dollars that's so cheap yes we are thrilled with these and they have yeah. good sound we have just a basket now of headphones sitting in the house so that the kids know where yep. they are, everybody can do their math. And it helps too that they're the same kind so they don't fight over, oh, I want the good I kind. The, you can't get other colors. You can. I just picked all the same right. so that everybody's no together. Fighting. 
Okay, how about our, our dog products? Should right. we do that one next? Sure, let's do it. This is kind of, I actually didn't tell them about this. This happened a while ago, and I was so shook up by the experience that I didn't even talk about it. Mm -hmm. This is activated charcoal, and it is not expensive. In powder form. Yeah, it is not expensive at all. Meaning, like, and, not capsulated. That's better. Right, it's just a black powder. Right. And I had heard that activated charcoal could be used as a teeth whitener. Um, I had never bought it because it just wasn't a priority. It can be. You just put some on a toothbrush, a wet toothbrush, a trashy one, guys, because it's going to stain your toothbrush. <laughs> right. Have an extra one. And great. you just gently brush it on, let it sit for two minutes, and then rinse it off. Okay, so that does work great. But we had an incident where it was nighttime, we were putting the kids to bed, and all of a sudden Pepper was acting so weird. He's our standard poodle. He's yeah. a big, big standard poodle. He was acting so strange was and him. he peed on the floor. Yep. And he started convulsing. His eyes started rolling back it in was his head. So he was flipping out, scary. falling over. It was so scary. Don't know what he got into. I, I don't, I can't even think. It wasn't like antifreeze or anything. I don't keep that stuff no, laying around. We have no idea. Right. But it was Doesn't obviously a poisoning. Something. And right. it, it was like so fast. First yep. he peed on the floor and I was like, Pepper, why did you, how could yeah, you do this? You don't do that you, anymore. Yeah. I'm like, send him outside. He starts throwing up. Then he starts convulsing, falling, his falling eyes over. rolling back. Right. I was pretty much freaking out. It was so scary. And I scary. suddenly, we didn't know what to do. We're too far from a dog hospital. He would not have made it there. No way. Mm -hmm. He was going down so fast. And I, I'm going to start crying again just thinking about it. <laughs> I suddenly remembered that I had bought this and it was in our bathroom. And we ran in there and grabbed this and started mixing it up and we couldn't figure out then how to get it down in but i knew that this was it it's like a sponge yep and it then all soaks this... up what's in your stomach and the reason we knew about this is because when our oldest was a toddler she yeah. ate some poke berries which are poisonous yeah. and we right. took her to the emergency she thought they were room blueberries and this is what they gave her it was charcoal with a lot of sugared apple juice. Sure, to get it downer. So, anyway, Jason is so calm in situations like this, and he was like turkey baster. So we mix it in water. He used the turkey baster to just force it Held down Pepper's throat, just, just over and over. We just, we, I don't even up. know how much we gave him, honestly. It was probably half this container. I don't know. We Whatever. Did, we There's no overdosing in charcoal. No, that's what it's, they told us at the beautiful. hospital. Yeah. And as soon as it hit his stomach and started, Absorbed he just whatever calmed. Chemical. Yep. He calmed down and he relaxed <laughs> and slept. And it was a very uh, emotional experience for me because I realized how close we came to him dying in our arms. It yeah. Was, and I, I honestly think that it was an anointed moment. Absolutely. Like, I don't feel like it was our ability to handle the situation. Maybe God has given us those traits or whatever, but it was ultimately like a divine situation where it was because the reason that i had bought this product was not because of teeth whitening i heard about that after the fact but i right. never i one morning i just thought just popped into my head you know how the holy spirit can do that just popped in my head go order activated charcoal yep i need to do it now i don't know why now, i just need to i just stopped what i was doing okay. i went to amazon i ordered it i can't remember it was under ten dollars right. and i ordered it and it sat in there and i'm so thankful because it i had to have it on hand it couldn't there would, there would have been no other choice. Nothing right. else we could have done for him. So. Right. And kind of same story goes for our kids. I mean, the clear, closest hospital is yeah. way over 30 minutes away. Right. So we have it now. Go buy it. Just do yourself a favor and spend the $7 or whatever it is. Okay. Let me get on something lighter for a second here. Okay. How about the scrubber? How about the scrubber? Let's go lighter. to a scrubber. <laughs> this, is, this is kind of silly because these are only a dollar. But I got these off of Amazon. I actually first heard about these from our tribe of many a while ago. She yeah. shared that she liked these so much. She called them like Swedish cloths, I think. They're these, um, I think they come five for a dollar in a package. And they are wonderful because they're cheap, but they don't stink. So I wash dishes with them and use them all day long. And let them dry. You can throw them in the washing machine, but they don't get that like stinky. Funky rag smell. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and they're cheap, so. Okay, is that light enough for you? That was light. Great. That, we're just flying through these. Good of these. We're like energized. It's the end of the day. <laughs> it's Our kids are all being quiet right now. Busy day. Yeah. What should we do? This. Okay. Another. This one's in a baggie because we've already opened it. I, got, I pulled this straight out of our first aid kit. This is Sting 
kill. Kills the pain and stops the itch. You first heard about this. I did. Tell us. This is think. a. It was a, a electrician, or no, not electrician. It was the men who came to trim the trees from the electric company. No. Never mind. I don't remember. But it, there is an electrical connection because it was the grandpa that carried those around who was an electrician. I don't remember. He was a lineman or some sort, and he would so get he would, up in yeah, the trees. he would come in uh, or whatever, you know, make connections on the houses and the soffits or whatever. It would have hornets or bees or wasps or whatever, and they get stung or whatever. And so this is a, it's a two-part kind of mixture it is. where you, you break this? the glass inside, and then there's mm -hmm. a, a cotton-type swab on the outside where the liquid will actually go. Maybe it's not a two-part. No, it's one. It is one, but um, you squeeze then, it like a glow stick. You yeah, know those glow sticks that break you kind of then, break and squeeze, and then they glow up. It doesn't glow. That's that's how you do it. And the reason that I thought about this again to share with you guys is because Leo stepped on a bee last week, and he was really in pain. He's a sensitive individual. He is, but he was hurting, and it did swell up. It did. But it was one of those spots put, where it just happened. We to, got one of these out because they're just single use, and we squeezed it and got it on there. And I'd say probably 15 minutes, and he was. He said it didn't hurt anymore. Yeah, it was pretty amazing. It's just another little handy thing. Actually, it wasn't that he's an emotional person. It was like he was tired or hungry. Yeah. Or so, you know, and then your foot things. is throbbing from a bee, which right. hurts. Right, right. And then he was able to be pleasant after that, which was really This kind of cracks me up. It says bee stings, mosquito bites, wasps, jellyfish. I wish I'd have known that. Yeah, she got stung by a jellyfish. Yeah. We don't have any risk of that these days out no, in here in our woods. No, but hey, if you buy some jellyfish, you can carry that on you too. That's a good one. Next time we go. Yeah. Right. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I'm gonna this? I'm gonna do a yeah, do I'm gonna do a manly thing. Okay. So this is sea foam. Um, this is it's a it's. A motor treatment, it goes in the engine uh, oil or the fuel for both gas and diesel, two stroke, four stroke, whatever. So this is kind of a manly thing to do. So what I've recently started doing, I've used this stuff for, uh, I don't know, probably 20 years or more. Um, and I would use it just kind of almost like I'm feeling good so I'll give my engine some vitamins kind of was how I would use it. But actually what I see it more now is a fuel treatment in the sense that it's it's heading off problems that I'm going to have with carburetors. Because what we do is we buy older project type vehicles and almost always they're going to have a carburetor issue. Meaning gas had sat in them, got old, and started gumming things up inside. And so um, what I thought about, I was like, well, we have older vehicles that we don't always run. Now the ideal way to do this is to let your thing run once a month for two, 20 minutes let with all your stuff in? no period oh just don't you're just yeah giving just advice. right right and i was just like i can't do that i try i thought about that for the longest time all i was like oh yeah great things. yeah because like we have pressure washers and you know lawnmowers and like weed eaters and chainsaws and four-wheelers and mules and i'm like i can't do it I, I can't get on that kind of cycle so i looked at this and the um this used as a fuel treatment i think it's one ounce per per um per gallon okay Is it expensive it is, kind of. Depends. You can get it on deal. Like O'Reilly's, you know, they'll, they'll have deals where... Do they have it on Amazon? Run. That's where I get it. I'm certain they do. Okay. If I'll they don't, I, they have to. Anyway, so what I use this for is that when I go to get five gallons of gas, I'll put five ounces in there. So that whenever, um, whenever we go to put fuel in any of our vehicles, the gas is automatically treated. So if I forget to run it all the way out of gas, which is kind of the best thing to do from what I hear, um, or I'm sure somebody's going to argue that. Anyway, whatever. Um, it's The fuel's treated, and it's good for two years, is what it's saying, is fuel treatment. So if I leave the gas in there for two years, it won't do major damage. Probably won't be the best for it. But um, anyway, preventative maintenance. Car if anybody's had to mess with a carburetor at all, it's worth the, I think, um, it's like eleven dollars for the sixteen ounces. That's, that's fine. So that's a fine price. it's it's worth it. Um, do I put it in my van car? No, I don't. It's deficit. But I would if I had the money. I certainly would. Meaning like if that was an important thing for me, it's not. Okay, that was a lot of manly talk. I'm gonna do my my lady. My, back to my lady. Stuff. Yes, my lady. Okay. Um, I wear my hair up a lot and. I, I usually use, I was going to bring it to show you, but I forgot. I usually use these um, claw clips from the Dollar Tree. 
and I have to buy a new pack every month. Because they break. she leaves them somewhere, or somebody else leaves them somewhere, and just, I sit on them, or, they, or step on them, or watch the kids okay, play with them. Okay, or it's they literally about, just break in my hair. Maybe. Because they're that wimpy. Maybe. Well, it's like, I don't know if you guys have the same frustration in life, but like finding that one puzzle piece and it just like flips me out. This is a favorite things video, not a frustration video. Okay. We could do another one of those. All right. They might like that. No, probably not. <laughs> anyway, um, of one of our viewers actually, maybe she noticed this, I don't know. But she sent me a flexi clip. Let's see if I turn around. Can they see this? Yeah. Is my hair there? Yeah. This flexi clip is fantastic. I am not going back. I can put it in in a minute. Um, I can just twist. I pick, She let me pick one out. So I picked out a large. I can twist my hair and fasten this in. It looks fancy. It takes me a minute. It doesn't fall out. And it's not going to break because it's really well made. So the fun thing is that she offered to give away two to two of you, two winners. Um, and so in the description box, scroll down and look in the description box, I'm putting the link for her giveaway. And she's going to pick two from the people who watched this video. And you get to go to the website and pick it out. There are so many choices. I actually took three days to pick mine because I just, a lot of choices, a lot of sizes. I have a large, I think. Um, and they're really reasonable too. Yeah, they are. I think that's what that's what I liked about them. Yeah, <laughs> I mean they look nice. Right, they're well made. A long time, and they're reasonable. And they're reasonably priced. Yeah. Um, this right. is a large, which is means for my hair, I can put all my hair up. Mm -hmm. If I wanted to put part of my hair up, it would fall down. So you need a smaller one. Um, there's a video that shows about sizing, of which sizing to pick. Um, it's all on her website. She has it's simply feminine is her website. Her name is Sarah. So I'll link all that below. The sizing charts and also, oh, they have a 90 day um, guarantee that, like, if you get the wrong size, you can just mail it back and they'll send you the right size. So, it kind of eliminates some of the worry about picking the right one. But, but be responsible when you pick them. <laughs> she said, <laughs> yes, thank you. <laughs> all right. Can I, can I go now? Sure, sure. All right, Take all right. Turn. So, um, we have. Like as parents, we're we're constantly trying to be intentional about what we allow our kids to be involved with, and so um, when we came, I forgot how we I came have across. I no this. idea how we found this man, this family. So it was a YouTube channel that we found. Yeah, right. So uh, the YouTube channel is Jordan Michael Tuesday, and it's fabulous. So this is a family that is dedicated to entertaining um, people and getting God's word out. So. Typically, on oh, I'm gonna butcher this. You're just gonna have to go to the you website to and check it out. It's really, really, really worth your time. So it's good, solid entertainment for the kids. So like, whenever Julie goes somewhere, was when I used to go to Jordan Michael Tuesday. It'd be no, like, no. if it was, it was Monday when she would go, but it was Tuesday in our house. <laughs> we would go Jordan Michael Tuesday. They'd run through them, and and here recently, I saw that they put out um, their uh, volumes on DVDs. So or their seasons rather. So they had volume one um, and volume two, of course. We're so hooked, we bought them. Yeah, right, right. We bought them all. And um, Whatever You Do is a nice little um, uh, movie, short film. I don't think it's all that short. It's 67 minutes. But I mean, yeah. it's it's great. It's like exaggerated a little bit, which Funny. is... There's right, right. So, you know, I, um, it doesn't... Um, it's not Hollywood production type that's stuff, right. it's and a family. that's one of the reasons we like it. Yeah. Okay, because it's real. We know this is a family getting in there and and doing some great stuff. And like my favorite one is the one where uh, they're talking about basically always go to, to Jesus. Well, you go I'll to link heaven. that exact one. Below. Oh, it's fabulous. And so like, they're little skits that they do to teach a. I'm sorry. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. They're, they're just little short skits, and they get, it's mostly the husband and wife, but they get yep. family members, his right. brothers, right? His brothers, I believe her brothers. Their children. Yep. She's pregnant Friends. right now again. Right, yeah, right, right. Oh, it's so good. It is, it's great. It's there, and there's there's other uh, movies, I can't, well, I can't remember the name of the other movie. I have because the camera's More rolling. than this? Yes, yes. Okay, we just bought three. We didn't buy them all. Well, I don't think the other one's on DVD. So Otherwise, this, I would have had This actually, just to explain more, this is all of, like, 
this is just the skits that they put out on their YouTube channel. They assembled them onto this. So if you didn't want your kids on YouTube, you could just purchase one of their DVDs right. and, and watch all the skits on here. Right. You can check out their YouTube channel though. So I will link their channel and I will link your favorite video there yes. so that people can check it out. Yes. And they're just, it's, it's great. They're and, and I guess uh, what I wanted to get to um, about this is that they're using the characteristics, uh, godly Christian characteristics in their skits and bringing it into a language that children can digest. Mm -hmm. It's fabulous. You know, it's, it's like creative, it's mm -hmm. fun. Um, and there's like, <laughs> there's like, you know how uh, some of the uh, modern children uh, movies and entertainment and resources that are out there have like kind of inappropriate adult type stuff in there? Well, he has like appropriate type adult comedy right. sprinkled that's, all through that. That's fun for us to watch. Yeah, so it's not like one of these things where it's just like, oh, we're watching on Super Trucks again. I was like, what? Or whatever, you know. I don't. We don't. We don't watch that a lot. But it, all the same, um, it's great. Uh, fabulous family. Mm -hmm. You know. I hope they come visit us someday. I do. I It'd do be too. Fun I've been. In I've person. invited them. I said, you ever come through Missouri? <laughs> Please stop by. Jason invites everybody. He doesn't I care do. if he knows them or not. Well, thank you for making him feel insignificant. No, I mean, I mean <laughs> he just invites everybody, no, no, no. people mean, he doesn't like. You don't like, think like, oh, we don't even know them. We should invite. No, he's like, come on over. You can stay at our house. The yeah. only reason we don't know them is because we haven't sat down That's to right. talk I long agree. enough. I agree. I agree. For brothers in Christ, That's, right. that's all we need to know. I, I mean, I totally agree with. And you. if we're not, then if, we'll just yeah. try to fix that problem. That's right. If you're passing through St. Louis area, call us. Seriously. Jason, Get a hold we'll of have us. a place for you. Okay. Um, Check hold on, out. let me grab Lydia because she's... Yep. Okay. Lydia is 10 months old today. Tell the people. 10 months. Okay, we have... What, we, what do we have? Two more things? Uh, yeah, you know what? I just want to do... While we're on the YouTube thing... Um, this is another... Um, this is another YouTube producer, content maker. Uh, he's a... Uh, He's a Christian and he is a trick shooter. So it's 22 Plinkster. All right. So we'll have that on there. Um, I believe he's down in Tennessee, if I remember correctly. And uh, he does hunting and uh, you know a lot of shooting sports. Recently, he put a disc golf uh, course on his uh, property. Just again, um, if your kids, you know, I know some people aren't into shooting or whatever. Some people are. Well, if you're um, not, don't watch it. Right, but I, what I'm saying is that this isn't like your typical shooting type thing. This guy is a wholesome entertainer. Uh, he's got some really fun stuff mm -hmm. where he'll split a playing card with a uh, with a 22. Uh, he does it upside down, backwards, through shoots through tubes. I mean, just really fun uh, Annie Oakley style shooting stuff. I think that the part that I like when you make these recommendations that they probably like too, is that you've watched him for so long that you can attest to his character character in yeah. his videos. Yeah. And so right. if you have kids, especially like our boys, who want to see something fun like that, but you're concerned, like, is this person going to say something that I don't want my kids hearing? Right. Um, yeah, you've probably he watched may, him for over a year, right? You, oh, longer than that, yeah. He may encourage you to buy more firearms. So... <laughs> <laughs> right, so that's so really good. <laughs> disclaimer. No, um, you know, and, and again, you should never just turn your kids loose on no, anybody's content just because you can click away or whatever. Yeah. However, uh, content is solid and family approved, at least for our house. So um, I'm gonna keep Lydia's keeping not, it soft Lydia's here. Not uh, this was was this my Christmas happy. gift? Yes. Yeah. Right. Right. Okay. So this is happy. one gallon. Um, it's. <laughs> Vacuum, like double lined, vacuum sealed. Stainless steel, right? Stainless steel, yeah, right. Um, it has, I actually got, there was a little special where I got the pour top on it as opposed to just the large wide mouth. But anyway, I've got one gallon here. So from time to time, I do like a what I call a one gallon challenge. I'm sure somebody else coined that one. I'm not that creative. But um, where I want to drink a gallon in a day, it's one gallon. I fill it up and I don't stop till it's empty. Or better yet, we go on a road trip, yeah, and instead like of bringing five water bottles, 
I bring maybe one or two for the kids to drink out easily, and then I refill it with this yeah. one, and then I hit it whenever I need to. We were bringing like literally plastic jugs with us, but they I would hate that. Yeah, we don't yeah. like using the plastic. No, and, and then can't it heats leave them up, hot. and you're leaching. This is and stuff. inflated, so the water stays right. Like, so cool. I throw this in my van. We go inside the store or go in wherever for a couple hours. It's boiling hot in there, yeah. and it's still. I put it in there. Right. This yeah. was more pricey item, but it's been worth it. It really has been. We'll link that one up. Yeah. Course. Yep. I have a really tiny cheap thing. Hand me my really tiny cheap thing. What's your really tiny cheap thing? I should have done this with our headphones oh. because um, this is, I know this is just kind of silly. This is a dry erase marker. I would always buy the Expo brand because no I once odor. had a bad, yeah, I once had a bad experience of buying dry erase markers from somewhere and they hardly worked. Mm. But I just wanted something cheaper. These were $6.99 for a 12-pack because our kids for school, for math, they use these a lot. And they are low odor. They were cheap from Amazon. And they have worked great. They're just like holding in there awesomely. So I wanted to tell you guys about that if you are dry erase users. Did you have one more thing? I have one more thing. Yep. So another manly thing well actually that's you kind of a, that's 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 the sexist comment i apologize for that well Father's for me Day is coming, it's so very we're, personal we're thinking about it. right right it's very personal uh and an everyday carry pocket knife is what was something that is kind of important to me right so yeah. in in the circle of people that i have around you know that that i hang out with um we're into pocket knives mm, in the just sense don't tell vicky about it because she is like well, she, never without her pocket that's knife. That's true. Right? Like like I said, that's why I retracted my statement. Yeah. There are plenty of women out there that like to carry good quality knives. And so great. It's not this one. Right. Yeah, we, we kind of have a little bit more traditional roles yeah, in that we sense. Do. She doesn't really care. But um, this is a Kershaw knife. And um, the model, gosh, I forget what the How model is. I apologize. Oh, Skyline, I think. Man, I've had this thing. Uh, for probably 10 years plus and it is so very simple it's got like this plastic it, and it's really really uh, cheap in the sense that it's affordable mm -hmm. um, a Kershaw if you know anything about the knives they're not stainless steel um, so they're not they're not like rust proof necessarily but actually the 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 best steel isn't stainless when it comes to holding an edge for the longest period of time and so what I liked about the knife itself is that the blade is just long enough to get some real serious business done. The point isn't super sharp for getting out splinters, um, but yet still, you know, I, I, I don't, I use something different for splinters anyway. But, um, but it locks, it's easy to, to it's totally uh, oily and dirty, or not dirty, it's not oily, it's totally dirty right now. But the idea is that you put your little finger here, and you see. Yeah, it's gummy. Oh. You can need to do knife work. Yes, I need to knife do knife cleaning. work. All right, because For this a thing gets used. Knife, though, that's pretty good. Oh, no, no, no. It, you clean it up, it'll do just fine. Anyway, so um, I've had to tighten up my screws there, but they have a lifetime. Uh, we'll sharpen it for you. That's free. amazing. You got to send it back to them. Right, so that, you just mail it to them right, and they sharpen it. Right, I believe it's either Oregon or Indiana. Why well, I wouldn't know the difference between those two, I don't know. But it's one of those. I think it's Oregon. Anyway, you, know, you mail it to them, they send it back to you. Yeah, yeah. They have time. Totally, totally. Amazon so, can ship in two days, right? Right. Great knife. Um, check out some of the other Kershaws. They're really awesome. The, you know, Ken Onion, those are very extremely popular, and they got spring-loaded, spring assist. You get fancy if you like. Um, this was good. I got one for both my father and my stepfather, <laughs> and so if they ever leave it laying around and they're not using it, I'm snatching it. So. There you go. There's your warning. That's what we have. Thank you so much for hanging with us today. Let us know if you have any favorite things that you just have to share with everybody. Put them in the comments. And please don't forget to enter Sarah's giveaway sure. and check out her website. Okay. Okay. We will see you guys soon. Bye.